So the Federal Reserve is actually an illegal entity functioning within government. It's illegal, and what we have given to this so-called agency is the authority to counterfeit money. Do you have any points of view about the Federal Reserve and how the Federal Reserve operates? They just enter something on a computer. Oh, you need 20 billion today. Here's 20 billion, but they got that out of thin air. It came out of thin air, it goes to the Treasury, the Treasury then pays the bills. So it's no different than monopoly money. The cost of living is so high today because the Federal Reserve and the Federal Government have destroyed the purchasing power of the dollar. The dollar today is actually worth about four cents, despite the fact that the government, the Federal Reserve, and the media keep telling us that they're protecting the value of the dollar. This is a lie. All countries who have ever attempted to create money on thin air, the, the currency is eventually destroyed. Why did we give a monopoly of creating money out of thin air to a private corporation? The result is exactly the same as, as if someone were picking your pocket every year, because that's exactly what they're doing. Originally, paper was re re a receipt which is used as evidence that the money exists. Over the years, of course, the government has disconnected the paper from the actual tangible substance, which is money. So now we have piece, a piece of paper which is evidence of nothing. nothing. In the past, people were able to take their receipts, the paper, to the bank and get the real money, the gold, in exchange for the receipt. This limited the amount of money that could be printed, thereby protecting the purchasing power of your savings. You don't have to worry. That's good, because I work three jobs and I feel like I contribute. You work three jobs? Three jobs, yes. Uniquely American, isn't it? I mean, that is fantastic. In the absence of the gold standard, there is no way to protect savings from confiscation through inflation. There is no safe store of value. Gold stands as a protector of property rights. Alan Greenspan, before he went to work for the Federal Reserve System. Now Alan Greenspan and the other central bankers want you to believe that the receipt, the paper, is the real money. This is nothing more than sleight of hand. It's a magician's trick. Because for them to maintain control over the government and the people, they have to convince you that this paper is really money. Because that is the essence of their power and our powerlessness to maintain control over our own government. What happened to gold in Fort Knox? Nobody really knows. When I served on the Gold Commission, uh, I asked them to really, you know, do another audit. I remember it was 15 to 2 and said, we don't need to audit the gold. It's supposed to be the American, American people's gold. And so we would like an accounting to tell the American people what is there. I've been told that the Federal Reserve has taken control of the gold as collateral for the dollars they print. They list gold on their balance sheet. Well, how could the Federal Reserve, this private bank, list gold on their balance sheet? They claim they're holding that for the Treasury. So that puts private bankers in control of the American gold. They could have taken all of America's wealth. That's a possibility. Shouldn't the Congress stand up and say, where is the American people's gold? They're not audited. They control the money of America, and it's not audited? There is no audit. Oh, wait a second. Doesn't the Federal Reserve work underneath the Congress? Congress ignores their responsibility to uh, do any oversight. The president really has no control, nor does the Congress have any control over this cartel. It just has the appearance of control. In the final analysis, the Federal Reserve bankers, with the help of the Democrats and Republicans in Congress, have swindled the American people. They have taken the true wealth of America the gold, and given us a piece of paper in return. And again, not a word from the press. These frauds are going to continue until Congress is no longer intimidated by the Federal Reserve bankers, and Congress uses their legal authority to shut down the Federal Reserve system and to stop this loss of our freedoms.
Is there a law that requires people to file a 1040? Not explicitly, but uh, it's uh, certainly implied. Well, implied by force. Yeah. But is there a law? I can't cite a law, no. I cannot. But, um, you know, uh, if they think it's the law and they have all the guns, <laughs> you, you know, it's an authoritarian approach. Well, yeah, but that's, I mean, that's it, authoritarianism. Yeah. That's not, that's not a country run by law. Do you think America is going deeper and deeper into becoming a police state? And if so, in what ways do you see that as a congressman? Yeah, I think we're moving in that direction because there's not much we can do without permission. The absence of a police state is that people are free, and if you don't commit crimes, you can do what you want. But today, you can't open up a business, uh, you can't develop land, uh, uh, you can hardly do anything. You can't go to the bank, you, you can't go to the doctor without the government knowing what you're doing. Uh, and uh, they talk about medical privacy, that's gone. Financial privacy, that's gone. Uh, the right to own property, that's essentially gone. So you have to get permission from the government from almost everything. And if that is the definition of a police state, that you can't do anything unless the government gives you permission, we're well on our way. Uh, this, is, uh, this is something that uh, people eventually, I hope, will get sick and tired of and say, you know, enough is enough. I sincerely believe the banking institutions having the issuing power of money are more dangerous to liberty than standing armies. Thomas Jefferson. You must understand the Federal Reserve is a cartel made up of the major banks in America, and they are the ones that are running the show, not the federal government. The powers that be behind the system, the financial interests, are able to exercise a disproportionate amount of influence on the, not only the economic structure of the country, but the political structure